Taylor here with Acura Spray Drones. So what makes the T40 better than the T30? Simply put, it's bigger, more efficient, and much more advanced. Let's take a look component by component to see just what I mean. So looking at the front here, we have a larger camera. This camera is 12 megapixel as compared to five megapixel on the T30. This camera is also located on a gimbal, which means that it, you can rotate it down and rotate it back up. So you look straight down at the ground and spot spray weeds or do your crop scouting. You can actually do mapping with this camera. Uh, there's more to come on that, but that's an incredible feature on the T40. We also have this big guy here. This isn't a rhino horn, this is a radar. So the radar is very similar to the T30 radar, but it's in a different location. The T30 radar is located underneath the drone. And when you have a radar underneath the drone, you have blind spots. See, if you have radar down there, it can't see past your landing gear. Versus this radar, it's open out the front. So as long as the drone is flying forward, you have a really, really good field of vision from the radar for obstacle avoidance. Plus you also incorporate these here. These are called binocular vision camera systems. And so incorporating these together, you have an incredible field of vision and incredible redundancy when it comes to radar and obstacle avoidance. There's also one located on the back of the machine as well. And this drone only flies forward during operation. All right, let's take a look at the sprayer system on the T40. So you notice the tank right here, just like the T30's tank, only it's bigger. So this tank is 40 liters as compared to 30 liters on the, on the T30. So that's 10 and a half gallon versus eight gallon capacity. The leveling system or level sensor system on the T30 is a float. There is no float on the T40. There's one at the bottom for just to know if you're empty or not, but how it does its actual live level system is these scales here. These scales are located on the T40's frame. So it does volume by weight. Now you look at the back of the tank, we have pumps actually mounted onto the tank itself. These are rotary style pumps. There's two of them on the tank. So when you take the tank out, put the spreader in, then the, the tank is actually, or the whole system is lighter as opposed to the T30 where the uh, pumps are located underneath here and they stay in the machine at all times. Okay, so our liquid lines go through our back arms here and we go out to these nozzles. Huge, huge difference when compared to the T30. So these are rotary style nozzles here. Rotary style nozzles essentially chop up the, your liquid into uh, very small droplets. You know, they atomize the liquid by rotation. So the faster these rotate, the smaller droplets, the slower they rotate, the larger droplets. So you can change your droplet size, your atomization size, just with a push of a button essentially. So you don't have to change 16 nozzles, you can just push a button and these change it for you. The other thing they do is they create a much more consistent spray pattern and essentially reduce drift by making sure that every droplet is the same size. You get a lot of fines whenever you uh, use a pressurized system. This is an unpressurized system with rotary nozzles, which is a huge improvement for an aerial platform. All right, let's look at the spreader tank. I have both of them sitting out right here. So guess which one is the T40s? Pretty easy. T40 spreader system, these are upside down by the way. T40 spreader system is 70 liter versus 40 liter capacity on the T30. So this will hold about 65 pounds. The T40 will hold about 110 pounds. We also have a dump port here. If the tank is full and you wanna dump it out, you can just open that, it dumps out. And the lid is much larger on the T40. Other than that, they are very similar. This does have a few more redundancies when it comes to waterproofing and things like that, um, but still a very si similar system. Still uses the scales, but you notice the scales are actually located on the tank on the T30, whereas on the T40, the scales are still on the machines. It uses the same scales for the liquid system as it does for the granular system. All right, moving on to batteries. So how do you charge your batteries with the T40? Well, you can actually use a T30 charger. We have another option too. That is a 12,000 watt generator from DJI. So a DJI generator. We don't have one here in front of us right now, uh, but the generator option is a really, really cool option. And honestly, I think you're better off getting a charger and a generator just for redundancy purposes. And so you can charge at home in the office uh, and you can charge on the road with the DJI generator. 
The DJI generator is 12,000 uh, watts inverter style generator. Uh, it has a charger built onto it. Uh, and for the price, it is an incredible value for that style of a generator. Okay, let's look at what goes on down here. So this is a radiator, a battery radiator. It has fans right behind here that actually blow through the batteries and into the battery chamber and help cool your batteries. One of these comes standard with every T40 and our battery cooling station actually comes with uh, an additional one and more of these cords to plug it in. Now, as we look at the batteries here, we notice that the batteries look pretty similar to the T30 battery other than these right here. So these are essentially cooling fins. The fan blows through these fins and rapidly cools this battery down safely of course so if we don't you know if we had any battery heating issues with the t30 which they were rare those are eliminated uh, with the t40 and this is right there that is worth it in my opinion because having to bend over and plug these batteries in all the time is kind of a pain in the butt so with this cradle and docking station that's really nice all right last but not least the remote so this is the t40 remote as compared to the T30 remote. So a few differences here, larger screen, about seven inches here, about five and a half inches on the T30. And just like the T30, we do have a external battery right there. It is waterproof, just like the T30's battery or remote, uh, but that's kind of where the, where the similarities end. So on the T40 remote, we have removable antennas. This means that you can actually get antenna extenders uh, for if you're flying a long ways away. And it also means that with these larger antennas, our range and uh, reception is much better. As is our camera, we have a crystal clear camera on the T40. The T30s isn't bad, but this is incredible. Okay, and the software, just briefly here on the software, it is a bit different. Um, essentially, they just made things more streamlined, uh, much more easy to use. You can set templates on your spraying system. Uh, so you can just pick a template and it'll set everything for you. You don't have to go through and change everything. Just do the drop down, set a template. Okay, guys, that is the quick and dirty on the T40. In my opinion, what makes it better than the T30? Let us know if you have any questions.